big day, August 13th, 1988, was hot, humid, sunny, and sticky. Perfect weather for a steam excursion. Problems in preparing the engine and cars delayed the departure from River Grove. Regrettably, the railroad had to cancel the planned photo run buys. But once they cut her loose, the 1522 came on with a vengeance. The 1522 was on her own, riding the Wisconsin Central's well-maintained, CTC-controlled mainline. She pulled 620 passengers from the Chicago suburbs to the heart of America's Dairyland without the protection of a diesel helper. The 1522 is a thirsty machine. Even the tank car behind the tender isn't enough for the 144 mile run to shops. So the Burlington and McMonago Fire Departments quench the big Baldwin's thirst. Passenger cars came from the Blue Water chapter of the NRHS and a variety of private owners. The trips were sponsored by the 20th Century Railroad Club, which has sponsored dozens of rail excursions from Chicago since 1976. North Fond du Lac, the 1522 brought her passengers directly into the heart of the shop's complex. There she cut off her train for servicing and took a few extra spins on the turntable for the benefit of the photographers. Now you can go take a picture. And you got it open. Go ahead. 
Probably one more I can get. Yes, just save it. You want to save it? Yeah, see if we can have a picture of that. Between Schiller Park and Shops, the ruling grade is 0.99% in both directions. Westbound, it's Lamira Hill, and eastbound, it's the famous Byron Hill. On Sunday, August 14th, the 1522 got out of River Grove on time with 520 passengers. Since she wasn't running late, the photo run by at Lake Villa, Illinois came off as planned.
Steam excursions always seem to run on the hottest days of the year. But no matter how hot it gets, the first open window car is the place to be. It's a great place to hear America's only operating mountain as she sings her song across Wisconsin, calling out the towns and junctions one by one. Waukesha, Duplainville, Sussex, Rugby, Slinger. For some, it's easy to reminisce about the age of steam. But if you weren't there, it's hard to imagine a time when the steam locomotive was a way of life. It's hard to comprehend how many times these scenes were played out all across America. Did you see the trains at the BDC Junction? Oh, yeah, under the bridge there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. How about it? About an interchange track? Is it? Yeah. Once again, the 1522 is center stage at Shops. This is truly her day in the sun, not only for the 293 ton mountain of steel, but for the people who struggled and sweated during her restoration, dreaming of the day when 1522 would return to the high iron. Any way you look at her, she's a big, heavy engine, especially for 1926. Total engine and tender weight is 293 tons, with 124 tons riding on her 59-inch drivers. Boiler pressure is 210 pounds per square inch. When the Walshirts valve gear unleashes this on her 28 by 28 inch cylinders, 
The result is 56,800 pounds of tractive effort. The Franklin C2 booster, when used, provides an additional 8,750 pounds of tractive effort. These numbers look awful good on paper, but we want to see how they look on Byron Hill. Thanks to the Wisconsin Central and the St. Louis crew, we'll enjoy this show from the cab. <laughs>